With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, three point masses M, M and 2M are placed on the vertex of an equilateral triangle of side A. Another point mass M is placed at the centroid of the triangle as shown in the figure if magnitude of net force on the particle placed at the centroid is kg m square by a square then you have to find out the value of k. So if you see this is the diagram and uh, if you see here the force by this two will be the same let's say it is f0 and f0 it will be along this line. So it will be like this. So if you see this is f0 and this is f0 and uh, here it will be f so let us get the value of f f naught so f naught will be equals to g m square and uh, if you see this distance if i write down it is r square so you can get this r square if you see this is the this is the triangle of side length a so here the centroid distance will be equals to a by root 3 right so you can just put the value here it, r value as a by root 3 so it will be 3 gm square by a square now i will write down this is f so here the mass is 2m now so it will just get multiplied by 2 and you will get this another value will be the same so now if you see there are three forces and uh, f not f uh, they are having a magnitude of f not f not f and f so if i say this is f1 f2 and this is f3 so if you see here the if i draw the three forces so the resultant of f2 and f3 will be anti parallel to f1 like if you see it will be like this. It will be at the bisector and uh, if you see this angle is 120 degree. So bisector will be at 60 degree and it will be like this. This will be F2 plus F3. Since they are having equal magnitude. So it will be like this. So you can just get the value of F2 plus F3 since equal vector so i will use the formula of equal vector addition that is 2f0 cos of angle between them that is this by 2 so it is cos 60 right so cos 60 is half so it will be f0 only that is 3gm square by a square now these two are the anti parallel f1 and these two so if you see if I write down the magnitude of these three, so as you can see that the F2 plus F3 is the anti parallel to the F1. So we'll just subtract and we'll get the answer. So it will be minus this. So it will be 3 gm square by a square. Since the two are the anti parallel, if you see, if I say this is R vector, so R vector and uh, this F1 vector are anti parallel, so we can directly subtract them, right? So let me write down this since F1 and F2 plus F3 are anti parallel. So anti parallel vector can be directly subtracted. So, K value here will be equals to 3. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.